Hey, Trav. Yeah, I, I get your message. I know that it might be an ancient command and, you know, but it's just one of those things I kind of discovered. And, you know, I guess I wanted to see, well, is there anybody else that didn't know about this command or it's been there for all this time and didn't use it? So, you know, I was just playing around with this and then just in a couple minutes, I was able to whip this together uh, using this slab command. So I drew this curve out and then you run slab. So when we put that in, um, and we can change this to like 1.5, but I guess more than anything is I'm seeing that this is a real powerful way that we can real quickly, um, we can select this and this way I can kind of create this taper that I have over here. And then of course, uh, going to good old, uh, quad, you know, remesh, um, I've been keeping things like right at this 50, uh, target and a sub D and then that allows me to kind of take this and real quickly I can start to develop you know some new iterations um, so I don't like this curve very much but we'll just get rid of that and we'll do the old slide and we'll move that baby up here just a little bit better giving us a little bit better positioning for the for this sub D object, but you know, again, I just like that I can come in here now and and uh, start to move this stuff around and start to get some shapes uh, that I like, and um, you know, kind of just start to develop some things. Um, and I guess that's what that's why I was impressed by the command, not so much slab by itself, but in the combination with everything. Uh, you know, that we have now with uh, Rhino 7, where, you know, our sub D is integrated and, you know, and this I just ran on history. So these uh, I was do doing pretty much what I'm doing here right now. It's just started to bend things. So like, so like this thing I had rotated down here and, and I think I even extended that a little bit, but I'm not sure here. I'll just move this in here, kind of like so. So that kind of is getting close to matching what I was playing with here. Um, I have some more geometry in here, which allows me to get a little bit more pointed here. But the whole idea is that, you know, in a few minutes, you know, and then with history on, so I'm already working um, with all this stuff so that it's mirroring I think I lost my history somewhere here. I had this all in history as well. You know, and then just something simple like this. I did the same thing with this heart. Again, running the slab command. Um, and, uh, you know, real quick, I get this shape. I can go in here and do the things I like to do, which gives it a little bit more character. And then I can come back again and run the, uh, you know, the remesh tool that, that you know, I told you before, I thought that this thing is freaking brilliant. Um, and then the best part is we can go back and, and turn this into a NURBS and then, uh, you know, start playing with this even more. So, you know, this one here, I had just gone in here and kind of hollowed this thing out a little bit. Uh, it's just because it's kind of what I wanted for the shape. Um, and, and again, this is kind of a mundane video, nothing like earth shattering or enlightening other than the fact that, heck, I didn't, I never used slab before. So I'm just kind of, you know, bouncing around here, uh, just kind of showing all you guys that, Hey, look, this, if you haven't been using this, this is something that you can real quick, you know, develop some, uh, some, uh, iterations of things, um, Let's see, where'd, where'd my mirror go? Um, you know, so now I can just start playing with this shape and, and let history do its thing. And, um, you know, we can come in here and just start uh, moving this stuff around because of the sub D. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of getting in the way with this other geometry. But anyways... I just thought it was really cool. And, you know, like I said, 
there's a there's a you know an obvious tool that's been laying around that you know I was like crap I didn't even know that was there and you know in minutes I'm putting together stuff like this and you know I'm gonna develop this long uh, more I'm actually gonna turn this into uh, a pendant and it might even be an ornamental ring design or something at some point um, I just don't know exactly yet, but uh, I was just really pretty excited in how quickly that made things. Rather than having to run a sweep or even, you know, uh, you know, doing a, uh, a sub D uh, pipe or something like that. And I actually like this better. So anyways, that's pretty much it. Kev out.